the United Nations Environment Programme and the United Nations Development Programme are working on a joint project with two bastions of international security, the Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe and NATO. NATO has given Earth Report the following statement. The NVSEC initiative provides an excellent framework for expanding our cooperation. By putting our forces together, the four organizations, UNEP, UNDP, OSCE, and NATO, will have a much greater impact on security. Each organization, as well as the countries involved, will benefit. The result of this partnership is the Environment and Security Initiative, known as ENVSEC. It's working on a climate project in Central Asia and Southeastern Europe, a region where resource scarcity, ethnic tension, and weak civil society have combined all too frequently to spark off conflict. In the middle of ENVSEC's pilot area is possibly the single biggest man-made environmental catastrophe on the planet. This desert between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan used to be a sea. Not millions of years ago, or even hundreds. Just 30 years ago, this was the Aral Sea, then the fourth largest inland sea in the world. The Aral's fate was sealed by the Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev. He was determined to turn the arid lands of Central Asia into vast cotton and rice plantations. But farming the desert would require huge quantities of chemicals and water. Two rivers feeding the sea were diverted for irrigation. It was like turning off a tap. Since 1970, the sea has halved in depth and lost 90% of its volume. Lugun in northern Kazakhstan used to be a fishing village. Today, the sea is 30 kilometers away. 70-year-old Nagmet was a fisherman almost all his working life before becoming manager of the local fish processing plant. All this area used to be sea, where we are standing right now. There were more than 30 types of fish in the Aral Sea. After the sea has gone, of course the situation is bad. Those who have a job are lucky, others are forced to borrow money from each other. The fishing industry used to employ 60,000 people. The wind is laden with toxic dust, whipped up off the dried out seabed. The dust is contaminated with the pesticides which drained into the sea from the cotton and rice plantations. When it's a windy day, this area is full of dust. Pupils cannot breathe this type of air. The chemicals have also seeped into the rivers that supply drinking water. Levels of anemia are the highest in the world. The rates of cancer, as well as thyroid, kidney and liver diseases, are alarmingly high. Babies and children are the most vulnerable. The child mortality rate is higher than anywhere in the former Soviet Union. Since the sea shrunk, children are different nowadays. They are smaller compared to the children before. They were healthier. Children today get ill more often. What can I say? We are sitting in the middle of sandstorms and salt. We hope that in the end everything will be okay and the Aral Sea will come back. Allah knows that for sure. We have no industry now, so people are poorer than before. There is no money to buy food and nowhere to buy it. The sea has gone, so there are no fish and nothing to trade with. 
нечем торговать. Which is why we're seeing malnutrition. Поэтому питание плохо стало сейчас. Few see a future here. Most have left in search of better prospects. Before there were 800 children in this school, but because of the bad environmental conditions, many families have moved away, and now there are only 300 children left. More than 100,000 people have already migrated from the region, adding to tensions elsewhere. That's why we created this, uh, this partnership with OEC, uh, and partly with UNEP, because displacement or the migration of the people from the lands which is very degraded, degraded from, the, from the environmental point of view, and they create a new problem. The Aral has yet to become a conflict zone, but its environmental problems are mirrored in other parts of Central Asia. Well, the Fregana Valley is, is often thought of as a, as a potential hotspot, uh, an explosive point, just because there's such a combination of overuse of resources, overuse of pesticides, uh, public health problems, uh, soil erosion, and, and the rest. And there has been some instability there, but it's one of these powder kegs that could possibly explode unless environmental action is taken very quickly. Central Asia. Uh, uh, is a region where you have had conflicts already uh, when it's up to the water. And of course, when 70% of the water is used for irrigation, it also uh, means uh, that there uh, is uh, not uh, enough water. And uh, the result is the Aral Sea.